It's been almost a year and a half since the end of Attack on Titan's third season. With the final season just around the corner, we wanted to give you a quick refresher for the highly anticipated upcoming season premiere. Here's what you need to know going into Attack on Titan's final season. Huge spoilers for Attack on Titan season one through three, so be careful if you're not caught up just yet on the previous seasons. You've been warned, let's go. For what you need to know about our main cast, we have three main protagonists in Aaron Yeager, Mikasa Ackerman, and Armin Alert. Aaron's sole goal was to kill all the Titans after witnessing his mother's death at the hands or the mouth of a Titan in season one. Now this led to his joining of the Survey Corps, who were tasked with combating Titans and exploring the world outside the walls. Aaron's adoptive sister Mikasa and childhood friend Armin also joined the Survey Corps, but for different reasons. Mikasa wants to protect Eren, and Armin wants to do something meaningful in the fight against the Titans, as well as see the world beyond the walls. Even though Eren really hates the Titans, his world is totally turned upside down when he finds out that he is a Titan himself. Now, in season two, as Eren tries to understand his ability to change into a Titan, everything gets worse as fellow Survey Corps members Reiner and Baritold are revealed to be two of the special nine Titans who betray Eren and company. Now, it's during this season that we learn more about a plot to obtain the special founding Titan power, the ability to control Titans, which resides within Eren. Now, in season three, both Eren and the Scout Regiment believe the truth about the Titans and the outside world lie within the locked basement of Gresha Jaeger, who is Eren's father. Now, fortunately, Gresha entrusted his son, Eren, with the key after the fall of Wall Maria. Eren and company take back Wall Maria, which was lost in season one, to return to Shiganshina, where the basement is located. Now, in the battle for Wall Maria, the beast and armored Titans escape. But in a move to save Armin from his fatal injuries, he becomes the new Colossal Titan. Now, for those that don't know, the special power from the nine Titans can be transferred by having another Titan eat the special Titan. It's anime, right? It's weird, but yeah, that's why we love it. Now, in Gresh's basement, they find the truth about Eren's father, the origin of the Titans, and life outside the walls, showing the enemies extend way beyond the walls. Aaron learns that his father attempted a coup with a spy, the Owl, which hinged on the retrieval of the founding Titan. Ultimately, his father couldn't complete the end goal and chose Aaron as his successor. With the new information and his father's memories, Aaron and company know the impending attack from the mainland for the founding Titan. Now, one important piece of the puzzle you really need to know going into the final season is where the Titans came from. Now, we learn about the history of the Titans through Eren's link with his father's memories because of Rod and Historia Race's interaction with him when he was captured in season three. Now, it's here where Eren begins to unravel his father's past and learns that he lived on the mainland continent in the nation of Marley, away from the island of the Titans that we've seen all series long. That's right, guys. The series so far took place on an island this whole time. In the 57th episode of the series entitled That Day, we learned about the subjects of Vimir, who are descendants of the first person known to have the power of the Titans, Amir Fritz. Now, when Amir died, nine Titans inherited special powers. As her descendants, the subjects of Vimir, or the Eldian people, have the capability of becoming Titans, as well as inheriting special Titan powers. Now, the subjects of Amir were used by Eldia to conquer nations, including the powerful Marley. Now, as the Eldian Empire grew too large, infighting began to spread, leading to the Great Titan War. Now, the nation of Marley took advantage of this soon after King Karl Fritz vowed to renounce war, abandoning his duty to balance the powers. By the end of the war, the Eldian Empire fell and Marley controlled seven of the nine Titans, distributing them to those Eldians who were loyal to their movement and dubbed them warriors. Having escaped to Paradise Island to avoid the war, King Karl Fritz used the founding Titan's power to wipe the memories of the people of Eldia and build a wall with countless Colossus Titans, which leads to where this whole series started and the Eldian coup attempt on Marley by Eren's father, Grisha Jaeger. Now, it's important to note that the founding Titan's power can only be used by Eldians of the Fritz and Reese royal bloodline. The reason Eren could use it briefly in season two was because he was in contact with a Titan from the Fritz bloodline during the battle. 
As we find ourselves reflecting on season three's final episode to the other side of the wall, the Survey Corps find their way to the ocean for the very first time. Everyone seems to be in good spirits, save for Aaron. Now he looks off into the distance and poses the question, if we kill every last one of our enemies out there, will we finally be free then? Now it's an insightful question that makes you realize that although they may slay each and every one of their enemies, are they ever truly free of their own internal monsters? The discovery of a world beyond the walls that harbors hatred for his mere existence is what awaits Aaron. Freedom is indeed what lies beyond those walls, but at what cost? Freedom in the world of Attack on Titan so far has been a double-edged sword, one scattered with mangled corpses and fallen soldiers and titans alike. Sometimes those have been one and the same. So what's in store for us as we've reached the anime series Endgame? How does the Owl know of Eren, Mikasa, and Armin? And will Eren ever share his info about using the Founding Titan's power? Now, of course, manga readers, y'all already know what to expect in the final season of Attack on Titan, but you know what? Let's hold off on spoilers and discuss in the comments below what we're looking forward to seeing in the final season. You know, which resolutions we're hoping to see and maybe get some answers to. What answers to what questions do you want? Let's talk about it down below, guys. And for more anime, check out our other anime series available this fall. 2020 season and our best horror anime. And for everything else, IGN.com.